What's up everybody and welcome to my AEW Rampage review. Now, uh, I do want to say before we actually get into this review, number one, first off, happy holidays to everybody out there today. Whether, you know, whatever you're celebrating out there today, I hope you're all having a great and fantastic day out there before we uh, begin this whole review. Because uh, I got some things to say about this show and honestly, I didn't really, uh, you know, I knew the show was on Saturday, uh, Rampage tonight. But I forgot the time. So I damn near missed the whole show. Okay. I turned when the main event came on. And I was doing something else. I was actually watching episodes of Botchamania with my brother to catch up on. I'm thinking AEW Rampage still comes on at 9 o'clock. So I got nothing to worry about. But the last video we watched, I turned AEW about, what, 8.40 p.m. And then the main event is on. So I missed the whole show. And I went online to look at the little, you know, a little bit of the replay and everything to see if I missed anything important. Honestly, I got in there in time to see the most important part happen on this show. But um, you know, I I forgot. I just thought it was starting at uh nine o'clock, but it was starting an hour earlier and whatnot. So I knew AEW Rampage was gonna be on today, uh, you know, on Christmas night. I just didn't know what time. I guess I got the times confused of when it was gonna be on. So that's one thing I forgot about. Was I literally just saw the main event. I had to go watch the rest of it on the internet to see what happened on here, okay? And, um, but, you know, it was some very, uh, noteworthy things that happened on this show for a Christmas edition, I'll say that too. Yeah, I, I do want to show something real quick. Listen, I don't show a lot of stuff on here, and, you know, given that it's Christmas, uh, today, I guess I'll show a gift that I did get today, um, this is actually from my brother, um, some would say I'm probably gonna just like a mark out thing right here, but I think this is pretty cool to what he um he did give me though. This it's kind of it actually got some weight onto it here, but this replica um world heavyweight WCW title NWO version of the world heavyweight championship. Um, just giving a good look right here if y'all can see it. Um, uh, this is a replica championship belt i know a lot of people do this online some would say they're marking out for themselves while doing it but given this is a christmas gift i guess i can show it off a little and have some fun with it so holding a world title does feel pretty damn cool like i said damn it feels like the real thing and this shit is low-key got some weight on it. it's it got like a good like i see the definition now when you sc <coughs> excuse me still got a little bit of cold here but i see i get the definition now when they say the 10 pounds of gold. So, um, definitely 10 pounds of gold right here. It's got some, definitely got some weight onto it. So, yeah, man, this world title. So, yeah, I, I had to have a little fun showing that off for a second. So, that, that's, um, pretty enjoyable to see. But, um, like I just said before, um, yes, Rampage, though. Um, I did watch the replay of it, and this is what I saw from it. Because we did kick it off, though, with um, Jungle Boy and Isaiah Cassidy. Isaiah Cassidy was already in the ring. And, and listen, obviously this is tape. Come on, who really thought this was live tonight on Christmas night? Um, Taz, Excalibur, and Ricky Starks on commentary. Um, I know Krishna and them were out there, so it was Matt Hardy and them. Not a bad match. Uh, Jungle Boy um, won. So um, that's no really surprise right there. It's like Matt Hardy and the Job Squad most of the time. But um, yeah, Jungle Boy... He just ended up getting the win, the win right here. I know he was taped up uh, and everything. I actually kind of forgot. Was he attacked last week, if I'm not mistaken? So, I know he was taped out. Uh, taped up, like, on his, like, leg and um, side, if I remember. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, next, Hook, which everyone loves Hook right now. Hook, probably the most over person on this show. Went against Bear Bronson. Funny, this guy comes out to action Bronson. Uh, Hook, um... Good match, I should say. Another submission win for him. I guess they call it the Red Rum and whatnot. And so the Kata got me and everything. But, um, of course, he's going out there hitting those Northern Light suplexes. Even, uh, damn near no soul in, uh, Bronson's move. Um, I forget what he did, but... I know he had, like, some... If it was a Michinoku driver or something. I forget what it was. But, um, he got with a slam. But Hook just, like, popped right up and started clotheslining him. Just suplexing him. All over the place. I know they had Tony Nese out there watching them for some reason. Don't know what's going on with that. Could it be a match between both of these two? Possibly. But Hook, though, um, not bad. Uh, Three-minute match out there. So, they're giving Hook some wins right now. So, that that was uh, 
good match, good match. Uh, Layla Hirsch went against Chris Statlander. Both are already in the ring, no entrances. So I know they shook hands. Um, the match itself was that bad. Uh, <clears throat> and whatnot. Statlander and I'm getting the win. Do use like some spider crap submission hold on to um Layla Hirsch. Statlander wanted to shake her hand again, but Hirsch slapped it out of the way and walked off. So um, basically, I don't know if that meant anything in that, but I guess we'll see what happens with it. But uh, the, the, I thought the match was um it was okay. I, I'll give it that. Hirsch uh, since they may be turning her heel, we'll see what happens there. Hirsch is not bad. I know someone say she's really small. That is true, but um. I don't know, almost reminds me of a mini Taz in a way. So, hey, she could be on Team Taz at one point for all I know. Uh, next in the main event, though, we did get Cody Rhodes versus Sammy Guevara for the TNT Championship. And, you know, I will say one thing for this match, though. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy that uh, people have just been going at Sammy Guevara all week. And, um, you know, this whole Tay Conti situation. Uh, yeah, I haven't really said much about it because I'm just kind of whatever on the whole thing in general. Um, uh, because what dude, what proposed to his girlfriend on this show, like, a couple months ago, and now you broke up with it, I'm like, man, that was kind of fast to do that, um, don't know if that was the smartest idea, but then, you know, people have been saying he's with Tay Conti, because I know they're in a lot of YouTube videos together, and apparently Tay Conti had, uh, separated from her husband not that long ago, so, I guess some would say if you put two and two together, um, I guess she's, you know, they're both together, and then Tay Conti ended up deleting her Twitter at one point for a while, so, I don't know, I think the whole thing just sounds kind of silly in a way, and people are just trying to guess too many things and whatnot between uh, both of them, like, how do you know if that's even true or that? And don't get me wrong, I wouldn't be surprised if Sammy Guevara did end up hitting that in general, like, it's take Contique, so come on, who who the fuck would blame him for not going at that, okay? And um, whatever happened with his girlfriend, I'm sorry, or I guess ex-fiance at the time, that's him. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but like I said... They broke up, so, you know, he's not even with her anymore. But it wouldn't surprise me if he is with Tay Conti and it comes out at a point in time. It's whatever, but I wouldn't put it past him if he hit that. So, good on him if he did. But um, I think fans just tried to play investigator and think they could dig into it too much. But the match itself, though, between him and Cody Rhodes, and they had David Crockett out there um, as the, um, what was it, like, to the, the present the title and everything, sitting by ringside. This was great. I enjoyed this match, okay? This is a fun match to watch. Both Cody and Sammy Guevara faced each other on the first ever episode of Dynamite when it first started. Uh, I actually thought Guevara was going to get the win, such as been the 450 on him um, and whatnot. Uh, Guevara, uh, excuse me, uh, and whatnot. Uh, I know Cody threw him into the crowd. I know he showed somewhat heel tendencies with Cody several times walking into the crowd and whatnot getting frustrated and everything, basically, you can see how that's going, but, um, you know, once they got into the ring, Cody, um, basically him on the top rope, Cody trying to go for the reverse first suplex, and, um, and whatnot, but Guevara got out the way, hit him with the GTH, uh, went for the 630, Cody, uh, put his knees up, got him with two crossroads, a Tiger Driver 98, and ended up getting him for the win right there, basically spiking him on that last Tiger Driver and whatnot, so, um, Cody, now became the new TNT champion. I know they had the Nightmare family out there. You know, Brandy and Arn Anderson and Arn's son and several other members. And having David Crockett uh, present him the title at the end of the show. So, I did not think Cody was going to get the win right here, to be honest. I actually thought that Guevara was just going to retain. Guevara's reign as TNT champion has just been kind of okay. I just feel like he's been in the inner circle. Even though the inner circle ain't really doing that much right now. But it's like he's just kind of holding the title just to get some prestige to the group. Not that his opponents have all been bad and whatnot, but we're still, we're still really going at the same time when you think about it. Um, <clears throat> and stuff. Sorry, my throat is just um, still messing with me right now. But it's it's a it's a crazy thing. Uh, like I said, with Cody winning the um, TNT title right here, so don't know where this is gonna lead to, but obviously it's leading to something. It wasn't that, especially since he got the win right here against um, Sammy Guevara tonight and becoming the new TNT champion. But like I said, overall, just an overall good show uh, tonight. Like I said, I wouldn't really expect to happen much to happen given that it's Christmas and everything. But obviously, it was some noteworthy things on this show on Rampage tonight. So uh, pretty good things here and there. But um, 
not bad, uh, I should say, for um, Rampage tonight, though. So, um, Guevara, I'm sure he's going to want to rematch right by next Wednesday and everything. So, we'll see what happens um, with that. But, still, a pretty good show. Uh, so, yeah, other than that, um, I'm, like I said, it's not longer a review. It's Christmas night. I got other games to play right now. So, what was that? So, yeah. Other than that, peace out. Find me on Twitter, at Hood890. Um, comment, subscribe. You already know how this goes. So, yeah. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Um, peace out. We done from here.